What's good, y'all? How y'all doing today on this beautiful, beautiful uh, Monday after my Eagles lost to the Saints a score of 20 to 14. <clears throat> I've been hearing a lot of, a lot of, unfortunately our season is over. I've been hearing a lot of slander to our coach, our play calling, Alshon Jeffrey slander. And I had a couple people ask me, am I mad at Alshon Jeffrey? Me, personally, I am not mad at Alshon Jeffrey. I know. I know. I know. Uh, I'm not mad at Alshon Jeffrey. A lot of these, <clears throat> a lot of people just watch football and, you know, talk about it, bet on it, trash talk or whatever. And a lot of people haven't even played football or know what it's like to play football. I been playing football all my life since I was 6 years old. Um literally almost all my life. So I know what it's like to play football. I know what it's like to be in the stadium. Well, not even in the stadium. I know what it's like to be on a field with hundreds of people. It's a lot of nerves, it's a lot of things that can happen. You know, it can throw you off your your game and we were in probably one of the loudest, probably the loudest stadium in the whole NFL. So, but that's beside the point. Anyway, am I mad at Alshon Jeffrey? No, I'm not mad at Alshon Jeffrey. I don't think he choked. This is a guy who's been balling for us for two two straight years, like balling, like lights out. We had him in the Super Bowl. He didn't choke in a Super Bowl. You feel me? He had a two huge catches in the Super Bowl, which set us up. One is right here. They actually showing it. Touchdown catch in the end zone. Fell down. Big catch. You feel me? Uh, like, I don't think he choked. I just think as a football player, it happens. Like, it literally just happens. Like, it sucks that it had to happen the way that it happened. It sucks that he it went straight through his hands and it was a if Marshawn Latimer was right behind him. That's that sucks. Yeah, it stings as an Eagles fan, but I'm not mad at him. He didn't choke. It literally just happens. Like some people are talking trash and oh Alshon Jeffrey, you're trash and all this slander I'm seeing for him and these people that never even played football in their life. Like you don't understand. Like some people can't throw it some people can't catch a football. A lot, like some people can't catch a, a softly thrown football, let alone a a bullet from a Super Bowl MVP like Nick Foles. While well, you in the stadium, with everybody telling you that you're trash, and like we weren't at home, like it, it was a big stage. Nonetheless, I don't know. I'm going off on different rants and different tangents, but I don't blame. Kind of blame Doug Peterson. He probably should have took it to the two minute warning. Probably should have took it to the two minute warning, but um, it's whatever, man. Overall, this season, I'm I'm grateful for how the season turned out. Uh, y'all, let me know if y'all want me to do a my thoughts on the Wentz versus Foles. Y'all, let me know if y'all want me to do a video on that. But overall, I don't blame Alshon Jeffrey. It just happens. He's our best receiver. He's been balling for us for these past two or three years, however long we had him. I think it's just two. It happens. We're going to be back stronger, better next year. So, uh, yeah, fly, Eagles, fly, man. Unfortunately, our season is done, but we're going to be back.